Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. I hope you can see me okay. Soul Family Read. We're going to do this today for the 21st of September. Here, uh, kind of on the equinox, too. Just this, this, why this, part of the reason why this Pisces moon is so amazing. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, fall equinox, northern hemisphere, anyway. Fool trying to jump out, one of my favorite cards. I love the Fool. Um, <clears throat> so this is a collective read for whoever resonates. Um, I talk about signs. You always got to think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But really now, that's more for my love readings. But <clears throat> it could be anything with this. I'll try to point out if I see astrology. What I want to do today, I call it a forensic read. So I'm going to go back and look at a 12-year cycle. So we're going to go back to 2009. So I need you to play along. And start thinking about kind of where you were in 2009. Um, you know, I was telling my friend, I started doing this hip, hip the self hypnosis years ago after uh, having a lot of uh, benefit I felt from uh, hypnotherapy. Um, and if I was able to recall where I lived at a given time, I could then go back there. I don't know what that's how that works, but I'd say, oh yeah, I remember where we lived. We lived on so and so street, and then I would go, go back there. And um, so wherever you go back there, I think with this, it's good to think about like the feelings, you know, what were you feeling in 2009, what was the life circle. When I work with people, a lot of times that's what I'm doing, like, you know, well, you know, how, you know, it's basic stuff. How's your relationships going with your kids, with your family, with your loved one? How's work? How's your health? How you been feeling lately? And up, down, all around. And so all those things about 2009. I'm going to kind of just look here and uh, get a read on what spirit can tell us, my questions of spirit, um, that can be helpful in looking at the difference with us now and then. What have we learned? How have we grown? Kind of a, a positive read, basically. As you know, anyone watching this channel, I bet my life on it, and we're not going to be static, you know, it'll be dynamic. <clears throat> Powerful dream I had. I studying first studying astrology um, they said um, the map is static the ground is dynamic I popped real clear when I woke up and I knew it was 100% about astrology <laughs> um, free will feet on the ground so <clears throat> we're gonna look at the dynamism of 12 years guys let's see <laughs> Ace of Cups. So I'm kind of seeing this as, uh, in this particular reading a little bit, it, this is where you're at, where we're at in terms of love and relationship. You know, a beautiful Ace of Cups, just using the Gilded uh, Tarot classic here today, my oldest and favorite deck. Um, and with this energy, pretty clear, um, you mine would have been probably on love and its emotions. Um, if, either it's a love interest or you um, you could have just given birth and you're really in, in bonded in love with a child um, it could be a job if it was a job you really loved and it would have been a very positive uh, feeling attached to this so emotionally I'd say in 2009 it would have been speaking to someone that felt uh, really good and you were um, actively loving uh, someone something um, with this kind of energy uh, it kind of feels clear and good to me. Hmm. It's like you were looking out at the world with loving eyes. And it's more because inside of you, you were feeling good about something. You know? And so it kind of changed the way you looked out at the world. You got an eye looking at, out. Um, spiritually, I mean, it could be speaking to a, you know, third eye opening um, of some kind. These lights coming down to a cup. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised uh, with this crowd. So the three of wands is reversed here. I'm just going to take it like that because this is in your blocking position. Um, I'm trying to look here forward too as we move along and. Uh, see how this is going to relate to where we are in the present. 
I got to think with the Ace of Cups being where you're at and how you're feeling, that the Three of Wands here and being reversed, and but the problem is it's blocking because I, I kind of don't even feel like this is, okay, this is like a rejection is God's protection maybe energy um, because uh, you're, it's like, you know, your ships are coming in. Three of Wands, so reverse, okay, ships are not coming in. Often with this kind of reversal, it means a delay. It's a delay of the energy. Uh, not that it's going to be uh, negated altogether. Um, so I don't know. I can already feel like if you're in this energy of Ace of Cups and then this is what's blocking you, um, it's someone probably not accepting your cup. That's what I get out of it. Uh, and I could see where that could set you up for like disappointment. The Ace of Cups is sincere too, like saying like, I really don't get it. Or if it's a job and you thought you were doing great, maybe it's a dream job, um, but then it wasn't coming through as you thought it was. And you're thinking to yourself, I don't understand it. I mean, I really poured my heart into this job or into this person. Um, and I thought we were, were there, but we're not. And I would have the sense that's the other party, their energy that's not, um, meeting yours look at advice chariot that's just heavy so advice from spirit so here's what I'm gonna say in 2009 um, this is speaking to someone who was in love if this is a relationship and uh, really in love and you with this eye in the third eye involved and the way this cup is presented here uh, it would have been a feeling of like a soulmate being connected, know, e knowing each other forever, um, and um, very powerful kind of feeling. Um, and, I, and not like that plutonic, obsessed, sexual type of energy. Uh, really deep, more Piscean cancer energy of this deep um, kind of emotional feeling um, such that I could imagine, like I think I've been there, uh, it's it, in this state. It's unimaginable to us that the other person couldn't feel like the same. I mean, it. it uh, and I think that's maybe what it was. And you kind of now look at this and how their backs. It's almost like their backs to you, but what? Because it's in reversed, and it's like uh, it's not your ships coming in. It's them looking for their ships to come in. So this may have been someone that was in a relationship with you, but behind your back, you know, looking for something better that kind of energy and it would have been like a total shock to you but with advice from spirit being uh, this uh, chariot here I mean it's a victory card um, this is aligning I believe our, our spiritual selves and achieving like a spiritual victory the most meaningful victory we can achieve here with the chariot so already what I'm seeing here is with time I think right now if you look back 12 years you, you must have gotten all kind of spiritual growth out of this experience. And if you look back 12 years and really try to, because you probably can, because there's so much emotion here. How, you remember how you felt back then and how probably like if someone had told you, but it's going to be different in a year. I mean, I know it's bad now, but think about it. And you're probably at that time were like, it's never going to be different. How could this possibly feel different here? Um, you know, it's like you're just lost, could be lost in this feeling. And it could even be a good feeling because um, you're just so in love, you know. Um, but I don't think it was returned. And what you get is this moving away. It's, I get with some time. and from But from this experience, it was like a catalyst uh, spiritually or ended up being because it maybe challenged you, maybe kind of threw you into the dark night of the soul, into that energy of, well, not only did this one suck, but they all sucked in the past and I'm doomed in love. And maybe that, because it's a cherry, and this is your advice, it's so positive, maybe that really leveled you up. And I would say with this kind of energy here, you know, um, you would then be someone at this point, if you think about how you were emotionally like here, I maybe you could say to yourself, it, I would not get in, I would never be like this again. No, no, nothing will ever put me into this energy again. You know, because you've moved, away from that in your soul and you're much stronger you know um, you can love and you can open your heart but like if someone tears it out 
it's going to suck, but, you know, it, your soul can deal with it. You're not going to be overwhelmed with it. It's not going to kill you. And you're not going to probably be afraid of it. Fantastic. And we go to the Herophant. And I'm going to go to the bottom of the deck, which I read heavily in this, and just present them together, because this is powerful. Uh, bottom of the deck, Emperor, and the Herophant <laughs> is how we end this. Um, so I would say this is speaking to someone in the last 12 years. I don't know if you must know this because it's so strong. Um, you are so much stronger. You may have gotten married during that time. Um, but you're someone who is um, in complete control of themselves. And you have complete mastery in with your spiritual self. You know, again, I think this experience in 2009, the chariot, led you to the Herophant. This is becoming you know, like a, your own spiritual master, master, uh, captain of your own soul, captain of your own ship here. Um, very powerful, strong reading. Um, and if you're not feeling this, I mean, really and seriously stop and think about it. Do you, compared to where you were 12 years ago, it's like, I mean, you haven't, it hasn't, you haven't just leveled up. I mean, you've made it. You've made it. I don't know where to go from there, you know? <laughs> Thank you, guys.